Hi, and welcome back to the channel. In this video, we're gonna be covering really kind of four different questions all at the same time. The two big ones are gonna be when to use which of these types of components in Spacey, the entity ruler, the span ruler, the span cap model, or the named entity recognition model. Now, if you're curious about when to use which of these components over others and in what scenarios you should choose one of these approaches, stick around for this video because I'm gonna be covering all of that conceptually right now. So this question comes down to really two different questions. One is what type of classification that you want to use, and the other is what type of methodological solution to that classification problem you want to use. So what do I mean by this? Well, let's take each of these in turn. So by what type of classification problem I'm talking about, what I'm really talking about is hard classification versus soft classification. Now these two terms refer to how a span can be categorized. Now if you don't know, a span would be an individual token in our case, so it could be a word, it could be a punctuation mark, etc. Now in a hard classification problem, like named entity recognition, a token can only belong to one particular class. So if you're doing something like NER, a class or a label might be something like person or org for organization. This means that an entity can, or a token can only be assigned one particular class of an entity. Now in soft classification, or the span cat component in Spacey, we're dealing with soft classification, and that means that a, a token can belong to multiple classes. Now this is really useful when you're working with nested data, or things that might have other components buried within it. So we're going to talk about examples of each of these in just a second, but for right now, let's jump over to the other question that we're really trying to tackle here, with, which are methodological approaches to these two problems. Spacey has two different methodological approaches. One is going to be more of a heuristic or rules-based approach, and the other is going to be a machine learning-based approach. Now, for hard classification, your heuristic pipelines are going to be things probably like your phrase matcher, your matcher, or your entity ruler. For right now, in this video, we're just going to talk about the entity ruler. The entity ruler, like a named entity recognition model, is a hard classification solution. This means that an individual entity or a token can only belong to one entity class. Now the soft classification of this uh, heuristic approach is going to be your span ruler. Now in a span ruler, just like an entity ruler, you use heuristics or rules to assign a label to a given token. However, unlike the span cat, you are using rules and not training a model. Now also like the span cat though, the things that you assign can have multiple labels assigned to them. And in Spacey, with the span ruler or the span cat, these are stored in the spans uh, dictionary and the doc object. So that's big picture of the two classification or two problems here. One being what type of classification you want to use, and the other one being what methodological implementation you want to use. Now that we've covered those two subjects, let's jump into when to use which classification problem. So the classification problem, if you remember, is hard classification with a named entity recognition model or soft classification with a span cat model. So when do you choose which over the other? You're going to want to choose a named entity recognition model or an entity ruler, uh, hard classification heuristic ruler, when your entities that you want to extract are not going to be nested within something else. So what's a good example of this? Well, let's stick with a very simple one. Let's say I wanted to only have a model or a pipeline that found and identified persons in a text. So this could be something like John Smith went to the store. Now in this scenario, I would want to flag John Smith as an actual entity in that text. And it's gonna be a hard classification because I only want to find and extract John Smith. So to do this, I would probably want to use a machine learning model unless I had a very small list of expected entities in that text that would be people. We'll get to that in just a second. So, why am I going to pick a NER or an entity ruler approach here? Why am I going to pick a hard classification approach? Because I don't care about identifying or extracting the individual components of John Smith's name, meaning his first name or his last name. Instead, I'm just interested in extracting and finding all persons 
and not really understanding any of the subcomponents of that name structure. So these could be individuals who have first, middle, and last names, all extracted as one entity. It could be individuals who have a first and last name extracted as one entity. It could be Mr. Smith, it could be John, it could be something else entirely. I am only gonna classify everything collectively as one entity label. Now, when do I want to use a soft classification approach? Well, let's consider this same example. What if I am trying to understand metadata about these types of entities that are extracted? So again, let's use the same sentence. John Smith goes to the store. In this scenario, I still want to identify and extract John Smith as a person. So on one layer, I would have a person tag, just like the hard classification approach. However, I also want to have a couple other nested pieces of data also assigned and extracted. This is now a soft classification approach because each nested component, John and Smith, I want to assign different labels to. So in this case, I would assign John to be a first name and Smith to be a last name. So these are nested labels within a larger label. And this is the scenario in which I would want to use a soft classification approach over a hard classification approach. So if you need to assign multiple subcomponents to an entity, that's when you use either a span cat or a span ruler. Now let's look, consider the other question that's going on here. When do I pick a heuristic approach over a machine learning approach? Really it's gonna come down to the kinds of labels that exist in your data. So if we were sticking with that same example of person, unless I'm working with a very small corpus, such as maybe, maybe a fictional book, and so I know all of the characters in that book, I can maybe write some rules for how all of those characters might appear, meaning I can, I can identify their first names, last names, uh, their first and last names combined, maybe even some salutations like Mr., Dr., Mrs., etc. But for the most part, I, I'm not going to really use an entity ruler or a span ruler approach when I'm trying to identify the category of person. Why is that? Because in most cases, we don't know all of the persons that might exist in a corpus. Now in this scenario, you want to train a machine learning model. Why? Because it is very difficult to write rules to capture any and all ways that a person's name might appear. Let's consider if we just had 10,000 first names and 10,000 last names. There are a lot of ways those two things can appear in any given order in a text. That means that I would have to have a massive entity ruler to find and extract all of those. I could also maybe just flag just the first 10,000 uh, uh, first names and then 10,000 last names independently and bring them together and concatenate them. But there's a lot of messy rules that are gonna go into this. Instead, I would probably want to train a machine learning model in this scenario. Why? Because a machine learning model will generalize or make predictions on unseen data much more effectively and I can collate the data of a, probably about 100 to 200 samples in fairly short order through an annotation software like Prodigy from Spacey. And after about probably 30 minutes of annotations and saving them, I can train a model in probably about 30 minutes while I sip on a cup of coffee and have a model that's in the 90th percentile most likely. Now, this is gonna be different depending on your data, depending on the labels that you're trying to work into a model, depending on the quantity of labels that you're trying to work into a model. And it's also gonna be different depending on if you're using a named entity recognition model, which is hard classification, or a span cat model, which is gonna be soft classification model. So when do you wanna pick a span cat model over a named entity recognition model? You should also take into account the difficulty of the problem. Span cats, not always, but sometimes, actually most of the time, are gonna be a little harder to train, meaning you need more data to train one more, uh, just as effectively as a named entity recognition model. Why is that? Well, for the named entity recognition model, it only has to assign a label once to a given token or not. For a span cat model, it needs to decide between multiple tokens for uh, an individual token simultaneously. This means the problem's a little more challenging to solve. Does it mean that you need a lot more data? Maybe, maybe not. It's gonna be on a case-by-case -case basis.
Nevertheless, hopefully this video at least gives you a sense of the major questions that you kind of want to ask when deciding between an entity ruler, a span ruler, a span cap model, or a named entity recognition model. If you want to learn how to develop these components, or maybe even do some training on your own, check out this channel and all the videos on it. I have about 80 different videos on Spacey, and some of those deal with training and making these decisions and developing these pipelines from the ground up. In the future, I'm gonna be posting an entire video series on how to train a SpanCat ruler, and or a SpanCat component, uh, and also create a SpanCat ruler for custom domain problems. That's gonna be all for this video. If you've enjoyed it, like and subscribe down below. Let me know in the comments if you enjoy this style of video where I explain things conceptually without code. I'm trying something new in this video. I wanna know if the audience likes it. Your comments will help me understand that. Thanks for listening.